Tab, tab, tab. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's good, it's good. I remember my first big transformation. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I can't look at you, man. What's up everybody, it's Fatty Mancy here from Real Results Fitness and in this video, Jay Smooth and myself are going to talk about nutrition and our struggles along the way. So if you guys go back to the first video, we touched briefly on calories in versus calories out and how it was such a life changer. So we're going to go a little bit more into detail about that right now. When we first started like getting serious about training, we thought it you have to eat only certain foods mm -hmm. every couple of hours and that was it. Just brown rice, chicken, and some broccoli. Tilapia. <laughs> you know, exactly. that's tilapia if you want to yeah. get fancy. Yeah. Later down the road, we figured out uh, more about calories in versus calories out yeah. and macros. And yeah, I actually learned that from you. Yeah. <laughs> you got tips from you about that. Yeah. Major keys. Yeah. Uh, those. <laughs> you know, when it comes down to it, guys, to lose weight, you literally have to just eat less or exercise more, but ideally do a little bit of both as opposed to going ham at the gym. And, and that's what usually happens when you do programs like these Herbalife programs or whatnot is, uh, you know, you take two shakes a day, you eat an apple and then you gotta do cardio for an hour every day. Oh, yeah. So it's like, and then people lose weight, yeah. you know, but, it, it, but it's not sustainable. Like you're, yeah. not, you're not gonna live like that forever. Yeah, yeah. And, and they think it's because of the product, mm -hmm. you know, but it's- Really, think, you're just having minimal calories. Yeah, you're eating like nothing and you went from, you went from zero to a hundred. Yeah, yeah. And you're, and you're just exercising like a maniac. Exactly. And neither is sustainable. But once we figured out, you know, calories in versus calories out, uh, that was the main thing and I remember it was for me I was like it was like pulling teeth because I did not want to count my calories or see how many calories mm -hmm. just like, oh, I'll eat every couple of hours but then taking it you know what was insane actually when I found out the calorie thing yeah I was eating like 3,000 3,200 3,500 calories a day and I thought I was eating clean, clean. Foods, right yeah, yeah clean foods but yeah actually I was eating clean I was just right. overeating food right right you know? and that, that's for those of you that haven't tracked like that's quite a lot mm -hmm. in order to try and lose weight. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was doing an hour of cardio a day. Right, and yeah. just like probably losing minimal. Minimal, minimal. Yeah. yeah. So that's when I would be like, oh, let me drop my carbs, when it wasn't that. It's not that carbs are bad, that's right. just eating way too much of everything. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for you to at least have kind of an idea of where your calories are at, for sure. Next in line is going to be like order of importance, calories, and then your macros. So your macros, which you keep hearing us talk about, yeah. is your proteins, your carbs, and your fat. And that's what's going to determine your body composition. So basically, the way you look when it's all said and done. <laughs> when <it's> all, <laughs> the way you look when it's all said and done. What happens if you don't maintain your macros is you get a skinny fat look. Some nutritional struggles. Uh, that you'll have along the way and that we've had in the past are well, the biggest one is that the cheat day. Yeah, the infamous cheat day. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I remember back in the day, my cheat meals would be like, oh, I'm gonna have a large pepperoni pizza to myself or like two meals at In and Out. Right. Just, and, you know? And it turns into like a cheat weekend. Oh, but really gosh. quick. Yeah. You, know, you eat, uh, so first of all, we don't know how much we're taking in, so yeah. we're overeating good foods mm -hmm. throughout the week, which alone is gonna make us gain weight. Yeah. And then, you know, you go out, oh, have some drinks. <laughs> Having like a thousand calories yeah. drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, you're like, you're soft like, tacos. Yeah, soft tacos. <laughs> Let's go to Denny's, bro. Yeah. yeah, just going ham on like all kinds of greasy foods yeah. and tacos and, and, and you just ruined your week yeah and then so i mean think about it because then like you know with the drinks and all the food that you eat uh, probably in that in that one night you know a few hours you're probably going to consume like what 35 hundred Dude, calories easy easy huh? because the, it's, it's the alcohol is one thing yeah and think about like oh you know you don't just get coke you get jack and coke oh yeah you know mm -hmm. what's your g <laughs> <laughs> i'm out <laughs> yeah you're 
<laughs> but uh, when we were doing that, when we were doing that, yeah. it would just really just mess up your whole... <laughs> like reckless. <laughs> it was just like, Straight just up reckless. mess up your whole progress, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, and you just... And, you're, then you're, and, and you're wondering, why isn't my body changing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're doing good from Monday to yeah. Friday till like Friday evening comes and then you're going ham you, Friday through you Sunday. Become, you become that dude that's like, all right, Monday. Yeah, yeah. Monday. Yeah. Monday I'm like, going to run back. Mr. Monday. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Don't be Mr. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> this might be at home for some of you guys, but like another major struggle that you might have along the way is, is your peers. You're going to hear everything under the sun from you look fine, why are you doing this, to you getting too skinny, you know, clothes don't fit anymore. And yeah. For me, for me, since I have my meals prepped, right. everybody always talks to me, how can you eat those meals? And uh, like, I'm looking at it, I'm just like, the, the meals have steak, uh, brown rice, right. or spaghetti, pastas, I'm, I'm, I'm eating well, I'm eating it's great. Normal. It's a normal meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you it's know? Just, because it's, it's in a container? Yeah, like and, people... and because it's meal prep, so everybody feels like I'm dying. Right. But my first big transformation, mm -hmm. uh, same same kind of things coming up. Like, you get too skinny, why are you doing this? You look fine. Mm -hmm. And then when when it's all said and done, like, never fails. Mm -hmm. It's all, you're all said and done, you, you do your transformation or, or you get to the goal you, you want to get to. You know, and then people start asking, like, hey, so... How did you do that? Yeah, dude, you've been watching me this yeah, whole time. Yeah, no, yeah. I remember when I did mine last year, everybody just be like, oh, you're looking too thin. And then all of a sudden I got to like, kind of almost my goal. Right. I mean, I'm looking good, you know? Right. And just people just kept on like, kind of just telling me a few things, like nothing right. crazy, but you know, just kind of picking. Yeah. And I was like, am, am, I too, am I too sexy? <laughs> They just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? What sucks. <laughs> they just don't get it. <laughs> like we just said, you gotta do it for you. No, most definitely. And, yeah. just, and just, it, you wanna reach your goal, so just keep doing it. Just go. Just keep going. You know, don't let anybody stop you. Just, just keep going. Yeah. To recap, guys, make sure you have some kind of an idea of how many calories you're consuming because you could be overeating on even clean foods. Most definitely. And you know, you will struggle throughout the way. It's not always gonna be smooth sailing, but just just make sure you just keep pushing through. Yeah. And you know, you will reach your goals, so just keep going. And you know what, if you're actually really having trouble with your fat loss journey, you should go check out his free ebook that he has online. It's called the 15 Essential Fat Loss Tips. It has a lot of tips in there that you could get that can help you out throughout the way. So I'm gonna put that link down below for you guys so you guys can get that free ebook. Uh, if you really wanna know how to enjoy foods, uh, while reaching your goals. I'm going to put the link down below for my other ebook called Your Nutrition. That's going to give you an outline of your calories, um, how to set up your macros, and it's also going to give you a detailed diet plan based on your weight. Game changer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.